السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم We present to you lesson number 934 of our daily nasiha and advice. Our topic today is Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Zubayr radiallahu anhuma. Sayyida Asma radiallahu anha, she is the daughter of Sayyidina Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anh states, Annaha hamalat bi Abdullah ibn Zubayr, that she conceived Abdullah ibn Zubayr. And she says, فَخَرَجْتُ وَأَنَا مُتِمُّنْ And meaning that I left Makkah Mukarrama and when we entered Medina Munawwara, I was like in my ending stages. فَأَتَيْتُ Madina, And I attended Medina. فَنَزَلْتُ Quba, And we then descended there in Quba, meaning we settled and stayed there. فَوَلَدَتْهُ Quba, And she gave birth to him, to Abdullah ibn Zubayr, day in Quba. So Abdullah bin Zubair radiallahu anhu is born day in Quba. And thereafter, Thumma atayitu bihin Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I brought him to Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Fawada'atuhu fi hijrihi. I placed him in the Mubarak lap of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Thumma da'a bi tamratin. And then Nabi alayhi wa sallam asked for dates. Fawada'gaha. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then chewed the date. Thumma tafala fi fih. Then Nabi alayhi wa sallatu sallam took his saliva Mubarak and inserted in the mouth of Abdullah ibn Zubair. Now this is very important. The first thing to enter the mouth of Abdullah ibn Zubair is the Mubarak saliva of Mustafa Habibuna sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Therefore Asma radiallahu anha states فَكَانَ أَوَّلَ شَيْءٍ دَخَلَ جَوْفَهُ The first thing to enter his stomach رِيقُ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that was the Mubarak saliva of the Master alayhi Salam, thumma hannakahu bitamra. Then Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made a tahnik. Tahnik means you take the date, you chew it, and you insert it in the baby's mouth, and it goes to the palate. So therefore, it's called tahnik. Thumma da'alahu. And then Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made dua for Abdullah ibn Zubair, wa baraka alay, and made dua a baraka for him. He, Abdullah bin Zubair, وَكَانَ أَوَّلَ مَوْلُودٍ وُلِدَ فِي الْإِسْلَامِ He was the first baby to be born day in Medina Munawwara after the hijrah of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi sallam to the muhajireen, the migrants. So therefore they were so elated and excited. This hadith is mentioned in Bukhari Sharif in the chapter of the Manaqib, the virtues, the merits of the Ansar. Abdullah bin Zubair radiallahu ta'ala who grows up and remember he is that fortunate person his father is Zubair bin Awam his father is from Ashara and Mubashara his mother is Asma bin Abi Bakr Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu's daughter and remember that his kunya is Abu Bakr and that kunya agnoman Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kept for him the nana the maternal grandfather's name a kunya was given the to the grandson that is Abdullah bin Zubair so his father is Zubair bin Awam and from Ashara and Bashara mother is Asma bin Abi Bakr the daughter of Sayyidina Bakr the Nana the maternal grandfather you must remember Sayyidina Bakr Siddiq radiallahu an the Khala is Sayyidina Sayyida Aisha radiallahu anha he grows up and remember he even ruled the area in Makkah and Hijaz and all that. In the year 73, then he was martyred and there was war and so forth. And thereafter we find he is buried day in Mu'alla. When you go to the cemetery day in Makkah Mukarrama, right on top if you go, you will find the grave of Mubarak grave of Sayyidah Khadija radiallahu anha and with her next to her he is a beloved son Qasim the son of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa and if you come lower down you just ask the workers there they will show you where Asma radiallahu anha is buried and Asma radiallahu anha when she passed away the daughter of Sayyidina Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anha she was 100 years old
And when Abdullah bin Zubayr told his mother the enemy are going to kill him, she said, Inna shat ta'allam ba'dal in silakh. My beloved son, the goat and the sheep does not feel pain after it is slaughtered. So let them do whatever they want to with you. Allah will let your name shine forever. And that's exactly what happened. So Abdullah bin Zubayr radiallahu is buried right next to his mother. So next time we go there, Allah ta'ala Allah protect the Haramain Sharifain. Go make salam to this great, great Sahaba, radiallahu anhum. May all Almighty Allah instill within us the love of all Almighty Allah, the love of Mustafa, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the love of the companions and the Sahaba, radiallahu anhum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa